Houston, we, uh, we have a problem. Okay. There appears to be a teacher floating out out there. Uh, why don't we get her in and maybe she can teach us some stuff. Okay. here in Houston, Texas in the big old US of A. It is hot, about 30 degrees Celsius. Thank goodness there's a nice breeze coming through. Now, Houston is a very important place for two reasons. Number one, this is where Beyonce was born and raised. Where would we be without Beyonce? And number two, you got it, space. Anything to do with space and space travel happens here in Houston. This is where the Johnson Space Center is. Now, let's go have a look. Okay, picture this. Let's go back in time a few decades. Do, 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 All right, it's 1969. Only 66 years ago did someone first fly a plane. Now we have people leaving the Earth's atmosphere. Traveling to the moon is a pretty big deal. And on the 20th of July, 1969, three men, Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins, decided they were brave enough to get into a rocket and blast all the way up to the moon. At 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Shadow. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, drift. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. America was in a space race against Russia. In 1957, Russia sent a space satellite out into the atmosphere called Sputnik. This gave America the motivation and persistence to get to be the first people to walk on the moon. Now, this did not happen overnight. It took 10, that's right, 10 Apollo missions for them to get to the moon. Whew. Talk about perseverance. Now there is footage of the men's first steps on the moon. That is where you can hear the famous sentence, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now, what that means is it was a small step for those guys, but it was a giant leap forward for mankind because now they're heading towards the future and seeing where life goes. Okay, now it's time for a little bit of drama to get you into the space traveling mood. I want you all to grab one chair each and spread out in the classroom. Make sure you're not next to anyone who can touch you. Then, your teacher's gonna count you down from 10 down to blast off. As soon as you hit blast off, I want you to shake your chair and move as much as you would if you were blasting off into space. Then when you reach the moon about mm, 20 seconds later, I want you to say those famous words. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And you get extra points if you can do it in an American accent. Then you want to step out onto the moon. Remember, the moon's gravity is one sixth of the Earth's gravity. That means that your steps are gonna to have to be really slow and a lot bigger than what they would be here. So, have fun on the moon. Okay, now it is class discussion and planning time. I want you guys to draw this grid up on the board or on a piece of paper that you have in front of you. Then, you need to have your beginning, the middle, and the end. I want you guys to be thinking about what's happening in those different parts of your story or your adventure. At the beginning, are you sitting in your seat? Are there hundreds of buttons for you to push everywhere? Are you feeling nervous? Then, in the middle, is it blast off? Are you flying? Is it hot inside? Then at the end, how are you feeling? 
What do your legs feel like when you try to step out onto the moon? Now, those are just some examples for me. I want to see what you guys can come up with. Okay, teachers. In this week's resources on the classroom page, I have written my own recounts as an example. There are two versions, tailored to level one and level two and three. Download the one that fits and have a go with your class. Great! Now that you've seen what I've got in my writing, you guys can have a go yourself. In this week's resources, it's got the success criteria of everything that you need to include. You can even include extra things if you guys want as well. Remember, I want to hear or see some of your pieces of writing. I can't wait. Now, I'm off to go and find some ice cream for this hot weather. It's one small step for man, but someone's got to do it.